All right, let's uh, see if we can get this thing to, uh, to work. Um, I'm going to be using uh, an input and an output. We'll be monitoring the input with uh, uh, channel 1, monitoring the output with channel 2. We'll see it on the oscilloscope. Um, let's set this something to something reasonable. Uh, let's see, let's set this to 100, we'll set this to 100, and we'll set this to 10. So 10 times 10, time, 100 times 10 would be 1K, 1K, and we'll set this one to 10K, which would be one click up over here. So this should be 1K to 10K. So we've set the bandpass filter for uh, one, uh, uh, the low end at 1K, the high end at 10K, and we'll go ahead and see if we can't measure that. All right, so we are going to use uh, the oscilloscope function here, analyze um, frequency response. All right, so let's enable that. And we'll start, our start frequency will be, let's say 100 hertz. And our stop frequency, let's say, will be 100 kilohertz. All right. And um, let's go ahead and see if we can run that analysis. So the uh, yellow trace there is the input, and there's nothing on the output. It's attenuated too much. And then as we come up, we can see the output start to start to come up. And now we're in the pass band. And now we're starting to drop off. And the output's getting smaller and smaller. And we have completed, there we go. So let's make this bigger. Let's get rid of these guys. Let me get rid of this. And we'll have one big picture here. And uh, yeah, so we see that uh, our filter comes up and this is the 1K line. So we're right here at 1K and we're now in the pass band. And then here's the 10K. It started to roll off a little early and then uh, it came back down. So. There you go. It is acting like a bandpass filter. We have about a 6 dB insertion loss, or what is this? Let me change the uh, let me change the units here. Um, oops, I didn't want to do it that way. I wanted to do this one. Waveforms. Let's do uh, 10 dB per step. And uh, minus 40 dB of, yeah, that looks good. There we go. So here's 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So, so we're at about uh, insertion loss of around 6. And uh, up and then down. So right down here at the skirt, see this is minus 40, minus 50, minus 60. Yes, yeah, so this has like a, a minus 60 dB of attenuation, so yeah, quite good. So I'm not sure if Mike was aware that I had one. <laughs> I have a different model though. Uh, so uh, this one is older, uh, but it is uh, it has five bands instead of four bands. So this one has a much wider range. This one goes from 10 hertz to uh, I think three megahertz, if I remember right. Maybe it's 10 megahertz. Um, well, according to the knob, it would be 10 megahertz or one megahertz. Let's see here. 100, one megahertz. Yeah, I guess this one goes from 10 hertz to one megahertz. Let me look in the, uh, in the manual for that one. Yeah, 10 hertz to one megahertz in five ranges. Um, and so it has a, a, a wider uh, range. It's also a four pole, a four pole Butterworth, so it's just it's just a fancier version of it. Um, I'm going to look in my um, videos to see. I'm sure I did a video on this. I'm not sure exactly how much of a video it was, 
<laughs> it's probably an old one. Um, and uh, if it requires more videoing, I will do another video on this one and maybe compare the two. But uh, yeah, it does basically the exact same thing that this one does only more. It's also bigger. <laughs> you can see that it's the uh, same size on the front, but it is longer in the back by about two inches. So uh, this one is shorter, probably cheaper too. And a lot more complicated inside. <laughs> yeah, look at this thing. Uh, we got lots of uh, lots of gears now. I got a shaft that runs down. I got all these gears and everything here. Uh, it is pretty wild. Um, yeah, Not exactly sure. I don't see. I don't see capacitors that move. Where are the capacitors that move? These are just potentiometers, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I'm confused about this one. I'll have to look at the schematic. But uh, yeah, look at that power supply. That's a beauty over there. I like that. Very nice looking. Yeah, very clean power supply. These guys, these guys know how to design stuff. Man, this thing is really nice inside. This one is the Crown Height uh, model 3103.